10 years would pass until the stadium alike would see the downfall. They would then go down to League One for the very first time. Season full of bad results and 1 1 draws, followed by a final of disappointment. That is until DC 93 will be taking over Sunderland AFC for the very first time, within hopes of bringing this club back to the big time on the road to redemption. Without further ado, let's get into the road to redemption. As you've seen, first of all, um, in, in the explanation of what this series will entail is getting Sunderland AFC back to where I believe they truly belong. That's me as a supporter. There might be people in the comments, or if you do comment, if you've watched it, if you disagree, entitled to your opinion. You know, football's a lovely thing. It's about opinions. Now, let's get straight into it. And have a look now obviously I've took over from Jack Ross who last season in real life wasn't wasn't the best um, guided them to too many 1-1 draws uh, which isn't good enough so if we look at the league table now you'll see that I've done a complete update with Bolton back in league one which was unfortunate um, for Bolton um, and then Rotherham as well coming down and Ipswich as well as MK Dons being promoted along with Tranmere, Lincoln and Bury, sorry. So getting into it, looking at looking at the squad now. Gonna take you through a, a few things of what you might want to know at the start of the season, the start of the series. You know, looking at the team, we've got obviously the new inductions um signed in real life by Jack Ross, um Jack Jordan Willis and Lee Burge, both from Coventry um respectively. Um Brian Oviedo on holiday is wanted as well as George Honeyman, Starman, Aidan McGeady as well. Um, Jack Jordan Willis and Lee Burge, both from Coventry, um, respectively. Um, Brian Oviedo on holiday is wanted as well as George Honeyman, Starman, Aidan McGeady as well. If we just look up the schedule for Sunderland, the schedule right here, is we start off our campaign at home to Bury uh, before... Four friendlies away to, to local opposition. I'd say Hartlepool, Harrogate just down the road in Yorkshire. Darlington just down the road as well from Sunderland. Surprisingly, Joe O'Donnell's been quite, I'd say quite, you know, his money. Let's just say that. He's um, he's given 3.9 million. And obviously looking at the, the list, there's quite a few... Good players on there. If we just scroll to the top, um, Google Martina, uh, Ashley Richards, Nathan, uh, yeah, not a bad player, I suppose. Um, Mamie Duff from Stoke, even though he's thirty. Um, Chris Martin. The li the list goes on. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna look at this squad. Back, take it back to the squad there. Look at any positions that need strengthening. You may say right back. As uh, Conor McLaughlin is new, signed on a free um, after being released from Millwall. And you're looking at the options for striker. Um, not many. Charlie Wyke, Will Grigg. Going to the under 23s. Yeah, I will be calling up uh, Benjamin Kim Kimpoika. If, um, as a Sunderland fan, I should be able to see his name properly. Hopefully, I have. And local boy Denver Hume as well. Looking. At that now, I'd say let's see what needs strengthened. Definitely need a striker. Definitely need another right back. That's for sure. Maybe a creative midfielder. Let's get into having a look at scouting our players of, of what we want. Um, I've seen a youngster from Stoke um, looking at his stats. 18 year old ben, uh, Belgian, sorry, Theobald Verlinden. See, I will want a scouting report on him. Another player that looks quite, quite good sitting in Nottingham Forest's under 23s, former Bolton man, and Nottingham Forest player at the moment is Zach Clough, can play striker or on the wings. 
is particularly what I want because that's how I'm going to play it and set them up with a 4 2 3 1. Now you're looking, you're looking at right backs, you're looking at what we can afford. Um, bear in mind, we've got Conor McLaughlin still in the team, um, but coming, coming down the list, there, the one that stands out is. Uh, Kuko Martina. Now I'll, I'll I'll get a scouting report on him. See what me scouts believe. Could he fit into the squad? I mean, he should be able to walk into them. As you can see, wing backs are needed. Um, deep line playmaker, ball up there, box to box, midfielder, advanced striker. So that's how we are going to set up. Give you in depth of this. That is how I want to work the in possession. We're going to look to play out from defence and counter attack. With the squad Sunderland have at the minute, they should not really be countered. As you can see there, Kate Longfro just drooped from the full backs and our possession will define higher up the field and much higher up in attack. Bear in mind, I will set other formations during the season if need be, maybe two up top. Um, Mix this could mm. looking at him now. Reports come back and play in a couple of positions, plenty of experience at the merit level. We'll put a bit in from first see first game of the season, hardly pull away. Let's see what happens. Some of them 3 0. Donald Love, Will Grigg, George Honeyman. As you can see, shots out the range, possession, top quality. So, Reed has finished scouting and believes he would be a quality signing, costing us between 1 and 3.1 million. Um, he's also completely scouting of Martina Cotton and Valinden as well. And Valinden's my top target, to be fair. He is. Incredible. I have played a stoke in the future on numerous saves. He is incredible. Um but is he interested? Yes he is. I mean he, he might not be interested, but Stoke are definitely interested in loaning him out, and that is the main point on this series is loan deals and getting a better team. Zach Clough, strong penalty taker, handles himself in a fairly professional manager, a fair amount of pace, could play a couple of positions. Is he going to get me 10, 12 goals from the bench? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the clause out to terminate. So I can terminate his deal whenever I want. Let's see if that gets accepted. Cuco Martina. Useful signing. Could be quality in this league. Another player. I'm looking alone. I want to send back if possible. That's the bids gone through. Well, whether or not they actually go through and we get them is a totally different matter, but I am excited for it nonetheless. Uh, Valinden accepted, Clough accepted, Martina accepted. Brilliant. In under my watch, can't even pronounce his name, is Mix. Mix Discord. Could be wrong. Sounds like Mixer between Mixer, Mixer and Discord. Blah. Accepted as we go through to check our second friendly. See how we did. Cut that, yeah, cut that. <laughs> four four with a team in the league one. Fancy editing that out. Third friendly of this build up to the season. We come from behind to beat a team in our league three two. Second signing of the season. Kuko Martina from Everton on loan can be recalled, Can loan can be terminated and um, that is what we wanted. We don't want to keep anyone here who might not fit in the team or don't play, you know. Hallelujah. Theobald for Linden. Absolute stroke of genius. Don't want to terminate his loan. I'll keep him till the end of the season. He could be a vital player in this season one wrapped up we scouted them he looked like he could bag with some goals he can be recalled and that's that clough another player in the squad so one at home
against FC Gronion. Not the best team in Holland, will I admit, but we'll take a win. Uh, two goals in the last two minutes. Bali Mumba, Benjamin Kimpoiga, Jordan Willis and Hoyman is a great score. I know it's a non-league squad, but it's a great score to start up. So, we are playing Burry. Oh, let's get into the match. Um, I'm looking forward to this. This could be the road to redemption. You're looking at the starting lineup for Burry, Jordan Beck, uh, Jermaine Beckford, sorry. Yow. Um, other than that, nothing to shout for. Started in. Baldwin, Willis, McGeady. Oh, straight the keeper. Could have been 1 0, but good start all the same. Straight off. Not much to shout home about at the minute. Saying that, max power to McGeady. McGeady in. Penalty. Penalty straight off. Leg bitter. 1 0. Did you expect anything less from Grant Ledbetter? Probably not. There it is, just a game. Bottom corner, straight under the keeper. Crack on. Seeing that ball in. Cleared. And McGeady straight away. Great giving it away though. Sunderland team on the ascendancy. What a ball to Grigg. Oh, tried to chip and did so well until the finish, like the commentary says. At the league table there. Sit ninth at the moment. Time. And as I was checking the settings there, man, Beckford scores the goal, makes it 1 0. As we'll have a look at this again, speeds it up a little bit. There it is, straight over the defender, then Beckford puts it in the net, making it 1 1. Second shot all over them. Ball in, Maguire off the post and power, Max Power with the goal, 2-1, get in, as we go, bang, straight off the post, power, have the keeper no chance. Aidan McGeady not doing the best, we're going to make a few changes here, bringing in Zach Clough, Lyndon Gooch, so far. What is that with the free kicks, it's Hugh, Hugh, Callum Hume, got some free kick on him, that's for sure. Oh, and Jordan Willis brings him down in the last minute of the game. That's a red card on his debut. And it's all over, just on the stroke of full time. See him get sent off. Looking at the table, 10th, first game. It's a win. Victory at the stadium alight. Well, that's the first episode. If you have enjoyed the episode, if you've liked it um, and you, you like the concept, please leave a comment, press the like button and subscribe because this is going to be daily content that I wish to push out. So if you want to see Sunderland's Road to Redemption or you want to see